Hello. Today I want to talk about connecting a serial terminal to my motherboard project. Now this would be useful if uh, you wanted to connect without a keyboard and a, a video card and you had a serial card. Except for one, uh, one note, I, I think there's an issue in the BIOS. It's uh, not booting up without a uh, video card. So they're going to be booting with a video card so that would have to be reworked in the BIOS a little bit. But either way, it's just a demo of how to connect a serial terminal to this. Um, got our board. It's going to be a uh, V20 processor running 15 megahertz crystal, so that's 5 megahertz. Got our RAM and our ROM, and we've got our I.O. card here. This particular card is 16-bit. It still works. Um, got some jumpers to select like which interrupt you want to use. Uh, parallel port, game port, and then most importantly the serial ports. There's two of them. I'm just going to be using COM1 today. Um, usually I'll connect like my mouse to COM1 or you know, but today I just want to do the terminal. I will plug that back in. We'll uh, take a look at the uh, auto exec here. Yeah, I'm going to pause and we'll reposition the camera. All right, so this is the auto exec on um, my uh, motherboard computer. And uh, as you can see, this is uh, for actual DOS 6.2.2. We, we're going to start out, you got your path keyboard, you need the keyboard to fix the keyboard. You, we're not using that, so we could actually rem that out. Not using the mouse, I rem that out, so that's irrelevant. Down there you can see mode, um, right here. Now this mode is a command that's useful for a few things, actually, not just COM, COM ports, but parallel ports as well. But we're going to set the mode of COM1 to 24. And then you want to do, I, I don't know all the positions with the exact layer. I know the 8's for 8 bits, and there's a stop bit in there. And then you can see there's a the last comma here. You just leave that blank. Um, when you actually enter this, there's a little dash there. I'm, so, anyway, all you're, really what we're looking at here is setting the baud rate to 2400. Keep in mind the... Uh, it's kind of default is 2400 like if you if you don't type this it'll still work but if you wanted to try something like 1200 or 300 i went up to 9600 and it it did not work it didn't like it at all so anyway that's set in the mode uh, and then uh, ctty com1 and that's just terminal up for com1 uh, um if you uh have the screen connected, which I will, but I'm not going to pan over there later. You can't type anything once you type CTTY. And uh, also, another note, this does work in uh, FreeDOS, but FreeDOS doesn't have a mode. But if you type CTTY COM1, just the default's 2400 on FreeDOS, just as a note. Um, so, like I said, we'll be using DOSBox as the terminal and I've got these programs here that I, I'll put a link in the description to the website and it's a uh, NRD mode and NRD terminal and as you can see we set up the com the baud rate here as well 2400 and then that last comma you just put an X so it's very similar on the setting the baud rate um, not gonna boot DOS or nothing on free DOS I'm just gonna run right in the free DOS terminal uh, just mount this location where the files are we're going to go to the directory and run it and so this is in the auto exec and then most importantly though this top line you want to make sure you map your um, your serial port to FreeDOS your real serial port so when I finish plugging in all my uh, cables here and uh, we'll boot it up so I'm going to pause again All right, I've got everything connected together. Let's start free DOS. Got full screen. Now, 
you can see it's asking for a port number. We'll just say COM1. And now it's just waiting. I find it's best to start the terminal first and then start the uh, device. You can see, oh, it's booting up. Uh, sets this uh, COM1, starts this, just basic, like showed in the auto exact. Now, this system is not flawless. Um, had some issues with communication. It uh, doesn't always work the way you'd expect it to. Without a screen, you wouldn't be able to see if you're getting errors on the, the other computer. But anyway, so you just saw the other one just connected, and it's at the prompt. So now we're a terminal. Let's see if this works. Now, the 2400 bot, it's kind of slow, like uh, just typing. So, every time I push the I mean, it's about a second and a half wait for it to echo back. But, I mean, the, coming back on the characters on the screen, when you list the directory, it seems to be okay. Let's uh, run a text-based program. Now, I, I just typed it all out. It did take it in. Another thing is, in those uh, equals uh, uh, less than or sorry, greater than equal here, you're getting uh, like a, or hexadecimal numbers. So like that's a line return, line feed. Um, for some reason we're getting those coming across, I'm not sure. It's just part of the program though, it's not necessarily a flaw. But so debug worked, uh, it's a text base, so you can see debug's working just fine. I ran uh, edit yesterday and it did, it did run edit, but it ran it on my modular PC, not on the terminal. And I had full control, mouse, keyboard, on the modular PC. And then when I exited edit, it went back to the terminal. Just so you know. I mean, mainly it's a text-based deal. So we haven't crashed yet. Um, I have had, like, if I connect and reconnect a bunch of times, it doesn't like that. Um... Kind of had to reboot to even show this part of it. So, anyway, there's a serial terminal. Like I said, I'll put the the NRD term website in the uh, description if you want to check out those files. And generally speaking, like just if you're looking for a, a terminal for any PC, really, you can do that with a DOSBox. And then, like I've got this USB to RS two thirty two adapter, and then using the null modem. So. Anyway, uh, thanks for checking out the video today.